There's another formula for calculating chi-square when you have a two-by-two two table. Two-by-two two tables are very popular in statistics, and there's a lot of research done on the properties of them. I've written the formula here, and I've taken the example we've been using, comparing employed to unemployed GSS respondents and their attitudes about increasing or decreasing uh, unemployment benefits, and I've reduced this to a two-by-two two problem. I've gotten rid of that group that said, let's keep those benefits the same, and I'm only looking at more or less. I've done this not because it's really the right thing to do in this analysis, but so I can have a two-by-two two table based on an example you're already comfortable with. The formula I've given down below is pretty easy to plug the numbers into, as long as you remember the following. In our two-by-two two table, we're going to label these cells A, B, C, and D, and all we have to do is go ahead and plug the numbers in. So let's go ahead and solve this problem and our chi-squared is going to be equal. I'll start with the uh, denominator. 508 plus 42 times 508 plus 196 times 42 plus 12 times 196 plus 12. So here we have our AB, our A plus C, our B plus D, and our C plus D. The numerator is going to be equal to 758 times 42 times 196 minus 508 minus 12 and that quantity squared and that's going to be equal to 0 0.79 a very low chi-square. Now I know it's low because when I looked up my chi-square critical with alpha equal to 0 0.05 with one degree of freedom, remember we calculate the degrees of freedom as the number of rows minus one times the number of columns minus one, my chi-square critical is 3.8 for one. And clearly 0.79 is less than that, so we fail to reject the null hypothesis. We can also calculate a measure of association for these two variables, and that measure for a two by two table is called Yule's Q. The formula for Yule's Q is the following. In our numerator we have BC minus AD. In our denominator we have BC plus AD. And in this case we get 42 times 196 minus 508 times 12 over 42 times 196 plus 508 times 12 and our Yule's Q is approximately 0.149 indicating a weak or a trivial relationship between these two variables and it should be weak and trivial since our, our chi-square statistic is so low.